jump right into it today. We need to finish getting the frame ready to accept the Crown Victoria front end. And the important part of that is getting these threaded bungs cut out of the original Crown Vic frame and put into our frame. So we're going to have to figure out the best way to get them out cleaned up. We might need to go buy a couple more tools to do it right to make the hole the exact right size to put it into the truck frame. But that's the name of the game at the moment. We get those out, put them in there in the right place so we can bolt it all in. Yay! Once we find the proper center, we've got to make holes for these pins into the center point for the front end in the frame so it won't ever leave where it needs to be. for the alignment pins for the Crown Vic front end. All right, these alignment pins right here on the Crown Vic front end now have holes drilled right here between the two existing holes so that we can fill in the other holes, put those pins up, and then whenever those alignment pins are in, Crown Vic front end will bolt in, and then we can put the top main bracket bolts in and they'll automatically be lined up because the alignment pins were measured correctly. We've filled in the holes on this side, so I'm gonna grind them down flat. Just filled them with weld, kept only the holes we need. After that's done, we're gonna take these that we cut out of the Crown Vic frame and then grind off the part of the frame that's left so they're just round. Then we're gonna cut some more holes, drop them in there, and weld those in. We also have to make the, the hole bigger. I had to go buy a three quarter inch drill bit, which was $20 just to make the hole big enough for the guide pins on the front end, but some more grinding and welding to do.
Well, that's better. Okay. We can set our. Uh, Set up Just put it up in there. Yeah. So that's I can, I can all how that thing. works. That stuff's in the way. So we gotta cut that that bend out. Oh, we gotta heat it up straight. So that bent piece of frame that bends down is rubbing up against the front end. It's gotta go. Okay, the problem we're running into is these plates on the trailing arms are stuck sideways and we need to loosen up that bolt to be able to turn them to match the uh, frame. So we gotta do that before we can raise it up and see if our holes fit. Take three. Okay, we're mocked up and have a couple issues. Ten fit, but once we look at where these will drop, all this bullshit's in the way. So he's cutting that out. So we can get it ready. Now the beast. You even gonna fuck with that right now, or this side? Yeah. I need to get this shit done because it's about to get white. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot of ground in here, Chip. But how much can we realistically get done? Well, we can get this ground out and we can get them marked. Because it's gonna take a while to drill them holes. Yeah. The hole saw is gonna be really, really slow. Okay, well, he's cutting that out. I'm gonna get these squares cleaned up off of the tubes. Yes, you Okay, we drill the hole and slide it in. That's how it works. That flaps down, bolt it down, 
repeat three more times. Okay, we ran out of daylight. We got the holes drilled. Be prepared to eat up a uh, hole drill bit because that's a lot of drilling. But each of these is in now. Lined correctly. It's still just up on the jack, but it's closer. Like I said, we ran out of daylight. Uh, we got a lot done in terms of measuring and alignment and getting the beginning of it getting put in. Didn't get it finished on the weekend. I'll try to finish it up the next couple days. Tomorrow I wanna drill holes through the bottom underneath where those slid in so that we can actually run the screw up and then weld the bung in. And then I'm gonna make some plates to cover up the inside of the frame, just box in the frame to uh, add structural integrity. And then after that, we have to figure out a mounting situation for the trailing arms further back on the frame. Probably go to pick and pull and get some spare brackets to weld up there. But the front end is just a couple sessions away from being in there. And it is a lot of work. If you plan on doing it, just be ready for a lot of work. Uh, I'm done.